can we be authentically ourselves while wearing a literal and at times a metaphorical mask? It's really struck me how amazing it is that masks have become the new accessory. I have seen dino masks, bright pink sequined masks, and instructional videos on how to contour a blank mask to make it look like your very own face. I have seen masks that notify the world that you're a veteran, a teacher, or even a Corona extra drinker. Masks that remind us of how much Black Lives Matter, to have hope, to hold our government leaders and each other to higher standards. Masks that match our pets and our baby dolls, and even a $185 jeweled mask to don at the fanciest of outings. In fact, in April, one of the earliest leaders in the wholesale sewing machine industry reported the largest spike in sewing machine sales that has ever been recorded. This occurred on the Monday following the CDC recommendations that everyone wear a mask. So what does your mask look like? While these masks are meant to protect ourselves and our loved ones from the physical dangers of the spread of the virus, I wonder what other masks we are wearing to protect ourselves. I also wonder if they are actually helping. In this time of uncertainty, scarcity, fear, loneliness, and insecurity. Not only with regard to the pandemic, but to an unparalleled polarizing political election, a new approach to education that redefines hands-on learning. And for many of us, the first that we are recognizing that even without the church and the steeple, we are still God's people. What are you doing to take care of you. What kinds of metaphorical masks have you put on to help you make it through the lesson, through the news cycle, through this assignment, or through the day? More importantly, is that metaphoric mask really helping you be the best version of you that you can be right now? Is it really helping you to be authentically and unapologetically you? God sees through all of our disguises. He knows our hearts. In Psalm 139, we are reminded that we shall praise God, for we are fearfully and wonderfully made, that we know full and well that God's works are wonderful. God has known us from the very beginning. He knows our inter intricately woven hearts. Even when the best we can give does not seem like quite enough. So whether your mask of choice is that of mermaids, trolls teeth, an RBG quote, or just blue, the best that we can be is always exactly who we are at any given moment because we are made in for and to be loved. You, you are enough.